10 Things We Love About Prisoner of Azkaban. As we now know, the prisoner named in the title turned out to be a really great guy. Here are nine more reasons why we love this book so, so much. Sirius Black Harry spends the vast majority of his third year terrified to his core that a convict from the terrible wizard prison, Azkaban, is going to come and do him in. As it turns out, that convict in question is quite lovely and is also Harry's godfather. Sirius Black, definitely not the murderer of Harry's parents, is cool from the moment we meet him. His anemagous form is that of a shaggy black dog he sends Harry an actual fire bolt broomstick, despite being on the run, and help make that insanely good marauder's map. We wish he was real, and he was our godfather, too. The Night Bus Public transport has never been as rock and roll as the Night Bus, always there for the stranded witch or wizard. Big, purple, and triple-decker, the bus pretty much has everything, including electric bus conductor Stan Shumpark, hot chocolate, and most importantly, beds. It's not exactly a smooth ride, but it got Harry out of a pretty tight spot. No questions asked. Professor Lupin After quite an appalling first couple of defense against the art dark arts teachers, Professor Lupin turned that all around quicker than you can say ridiculous. As shabby as he was level-headed, wise, and kind, Harry quickly made a firm friend in Remus Lupin, who turned out to play a pivotal role in Harry's past and future. Also, who cares about the werewolf thing? Lupin always had chocolate. Dementors Despite having faced Lord Voldemort himself, Harry was really spooked when he encountered the Dementors, the soulless floating terrors that guard Azkaban. Due to the Dementor's way of sucking the joy out of the air, Harry's many dark memories meant that they affected him worse than others. Crickshanks With Harry having Hedwig and Ron having Scabbers, although not for long, Hermione thought it was time to get a pet too, and by Jove, did she get the best one. Part measle, part squishy-faced, adorable orange cat, Cookshanks solved the mystery of Peter Pettigrew before anyone else. Trust Hermione to have a cat as smart as her. The Firebolt When Harry's Nimbus 2000 is shattered beyond repair during a Dementor invasion on the Quidditch pitch, a devastated Harry discovers that someone has sent him a Firebolt. To give you some scope of how awesome that is, if broomsticks were race cars, this would be a Ferrari. Darn, that boy gets all the best stuff. The Marauder's Map If the firebolt wasn't ridiculously cool enough, Fred and George also gifted Harry with something arguably even better. The Marauder's Map, capable of pinpointing the location of everyone at Hogwarts. Little did Harry know, that it also happened to be co-created by his very own father, which made the map's intent on always achieving mischief make a lot of sense. Patronuses If every cloud must have a silver lining, then Harry discovering the ultimate one when Lupin teaches him the Patronus charm, a tough spell to perform, but also truly wonderful. Harry learned that casting Expecto Patronum when thinking a happy thought would emit a silver animal guardian to protect him from the Dementors. Even more wonderfully, Harry's own Patronus mirrored his father's, a stag, Time Turner. Hermione's determination to drink in as much education as possible took an odd turn during Prisoner of Azkaban, a Time Turner, in fact. After somehow managing to pack in dozens more classes than anyone else all year, Harry finally discovers that Hermione had a little magical help via the impossibly rare Time Turner, an enchanted hourglass with the ability to transport the user through time. As you can imagine, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on one of these, 
as you'd have people using time turners to go and pick up the milk they'd forgotten from the shop and all sorts. But rescuing Sirius Black from a demon's kiss seemed fair enough, and not forgetting. Buckbeak. In Harry's first ear, it was Norbert. In his second, it was Aragog. And in his third ear, Hagrid introduces Harry to another fantastic beast, everyone's favorite hippogriff, Buckbeak. Part eagle, part horse, Hagrid's majestic friend seemed much friendlier than a giant spider or tiny dragon. Although Buckbeak wasn't averse to giving Draco Malfoy a much-deserved swipe. Long live Buckbeak and all who sail on him.